Hi, I'm John Bybee, and uh, this is Dragger Tales. And when I was on my way up here to the airport, I saw that the DC-3 uh, flagship of, of Detroit just pulled in. And I uh, thought I would uh, spend a couple minutes talking to these guys, and they put me to work. So that's what you get to see on this video. Hello All right. out there. I'm Blake Butler with the Flagship Detroit Foundation, and this is... Dave Buffington with the Flagship Detroit Foundation. And what are we about to do together here? We're going to pull the props through prior to starting the engines so that we make sure we do not have a hydraulic lock on the lower cylinders. Okay, and you've given me a pair of gloves. Yes, that's so you don't get the prop sturdy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you don't hurt your hands. <laughs> or you don't hurt your hands. All right, well, we'll see if this is going to be like the Taylor Craft or not. So uh, we're starting Very it. similarly different. Yeah, so we're starting it, right? We're, we're hand propping this. So we're winding the rubber band. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, well... You guys are doing wonderfully. Oh, we got a tough one. Luckily, we don't have four engines. Okay, the rubber bands are stretched. We're ready to start. Okay, I'll sit over here. Just briefly, this is the uh, flagship Detroit. It's the oldest flying DC-3 in the world. Uh, it was delivered to American Airlines on March 2nd, 1937, and uh, at that point, uh, it was the 23rd airplane that was delivered to American out of a fleet that finally came up to 84 airplanes. It flew for American for 10 years, being retired in 1947, and at that point, uh, American retired all of the DC-3s in the fleet moved up to larger airplanes at that point in time. Uh, this airplane did not see any military service uh, during World War II. It flew for American throughout the war years. Well, let me ask you, uh, the viewers would probably be interested, well, how does somebody get to the point where they are invited to be a pilot for this? Uh, we would prefer to have pilots that have DC-3 experience, but we've taken pilots with them very little time in, in the airplane or those that uh, just want to fly the airplane and have other flying skills and uh, they, uh, initially they start out as uh, right seat second officers and then move up to captain when uh, when they get enough experience in the airplane. Okay and so for people who might not be familiar with the airplane uh, this aircraft will go from one community to the next, and uh, you'll take passengers up for rides, is that? Uh, we do rides with the airplane, and we do static displays at, at different air shows, and we do special events, and uh, uh, we've done several movies uh, over the course of the time that the foundation has owned the airplane. Okay, one more question. Uh, can you talk about the handling characteristics of this uh, particular plane, the DC-3, and um, kind of just your, your thoughts about that, having flown it for a while? Well, uh, this airplane was uh, 
is historically an older airplane and it does not have any hydraulic boost on any of the flight controls so the controls are a little bit heavy but uh, basically it, it flies like you know, most other airplanes uh, just you're a little bit heavier on the controls when when you need to make uh, adjustments my name is Lisa okay. Butler and I serve as the stewardess on the flagship Detroit and I also work um, to garnish membership for our flagship Detroit organization um, to be able to keep this airplane in the air.
for this job back in the 90, 1930s and 40s, um, stewardesses had some pretty strict requirements. So they had to be a registered nurse, they had to be unmarried, and very strict weight and height requirements. We don't meet those. But we're going to put you to work helping us get ready for our next vintage flight. So I need you to get these headrests straightened. I'd like my lap belts crossed in the center, please. And could you make sure all the air vents are open okay. all the way? All right. Thank you very much. And I'm going to start in the Please rear and do the same, so I'll meet you midway. It's always something. Yeah. Uh, well, the flagship Detroit Foundation is a nonprofit foundation, and uh, uh, we raise our money basically from donations from the public. Uh, so we, whenever we're at an air show or uh, doing an event, we invite everybody to come out and learn a little bit about what a early aviation was like in the 1930s and the 1940s. If anybody is interested, our, our foundation website is flagshipdetroit.org. You can get more information at that website. Great. Thank you. Well, Fisher Potts, that was quite a flight. Thanks for being my uh, my wingman on the right yeah. side with the uh, camera. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh yeah, lots of fun. All right.